Hello and good morning. This is uh, Pigsy doing another video. Um, this is going to touch upon the galactic wave from a star quake, uh, basically in, a, in the universe, in our galaxy. There's been um, two two binaries. Um, well, it's been a binary system, and uh, this, the stars have collapsed on each other, um, or it's like two black holes combining, or something they say. Um, but the, the energy is a massive uh, gamma wave that's um, that's like the lifetime of the whole sun being released energy wise in a gamma frequency um, it will hit the way well, there's been about five different waves it's been uh, mentioned I wasn't aware of the first wave um, the second is going to hit on the 26th of December uh, 2016 or in a kind of um, if a few days after unlikely before but who knows um, it's going to be quite a destructive uh, energy burst um, because this first wave it didn't get a direct hit on us but this one will get more of a um, more of a whammy and, um, and it has a lot of ish, um, issues it brings with it um, it may have a destructive effect if, if you get caught up in the energy outside um, it might not be something you notice at first but then after a period of time you might develop um, some health problems from it. Um, it may have enough energy just to um, just to kill you on the spot. Um, this is not this is not fear mongering. It's just there's a, there's a lot of energy released. They were saying basically it, it has energy to disrupt um, atoms, and it also has enough energy to um, basically to chop up your DNA. But however, I don't think anyone's been exposed to this level of energy. Um, it could it could actually do it could have some positive impact, it might cause some sort of changes, uh, maybe rapid aging, or some sort of kind of uh, super abilities, which are the positive um, things it can cause, um, just because the photons contain more energy than a regular photon that's from a, from a gamma blast, um, it's probably like a thousand times, so it's almost like the, the Incredible Hulk scenario, um, who knows, who knows what's going to happen past that point, there will be uh, big massive earthquakes, um, basically the spots that have suffered from earthquakes around the Ring of Fire are probably going to increase. There will be some other areas you will, you will feel earthquakes, but the other massive issues that places that are not used to any kind of tremors, shakes, will um, suffer just as much damage because they're basically not designed for it. Um, so yeah, this the other thing is, where is Nibiru in this mixture? I mean, it could be the cover story for Nibiru and actually all this... Um, gamma wave stuff is is actually a lie, but I think it's a separate entity. It also could end up whacking um, Nibiru and, and the other star system up the arc, so I do not know what's going to happen um, with that kind of impact. Will it take out the asteroids that are stringed around with it um, and make it less of a threat, or will it actually make things a hell of a lot worse? I mean, if Nemesis combines with Sol and they, they end up um, collapsing on each other, it will create a massive um, black hole and create another gamma blast. So it's like a chain reaction. If you've got enough energy in one spot, you can sort of tear it, um, a hole in the fabric of space and time and release a lot of energy. Um, I mean, from other things I pick up, like um, ET type stuff, it seems to be, uh, it won't be a bad thing. I had some council or something, just as I come out of my dreams, was. Um, or something said that it will make, will make a new humanity. Um, not if it blows up under bits, but I don't know what that actually means. It's quite cryptic. What is what they've said? They said the uh, next 30 days is important. And then I found out by this energy wave, also the Queen's speech, what was she to deliver there, how people respond. Uh, would it be just cryptic and nobody understand it apart from the uh, alternative media? Who knows? So, anyway, this is Pixie signing off and um, uh, stay safe and uh, be smart. Thing to add um, is the sound I've been hearing each morning, like a pulsing sound, is actually from the sun. The sun makes the same pulsing noise. Uh, if you listen to um, NASA's um, sound recording of the sun, it generates exactly the same uh, frequency. I was trying to match up with which planet or was generating it, but you know, is this signal coming from the field? Is it doing blood pressure? Is it doing whatever? But it's not, not doing my pulse, it's just the sound of it. It's sort of like a base um, reverberating through space. So there we go. Anyway, take care. Bye.